Okay, before I go very quickly, I noticed that there is something I've, I've done a little bit wrong here, um, which is not correct. When we were talking about routing, I, I linked um, USB 1 and 2 to, seven and to, to channel 7 and 8 here. This is actually incorrect. Um, if you want to set up a live stream for yourself, you don't actually change the setting there. Uh, so my apologies there. Um, I'm a bit tired. It's been a long day. Uh, as you can see, it's 10.55, and I've had to work uh, all week. Um, where you actually do this is here, within the USB section uh, of the, uh, the mixer. And the USB 1 and 2 that's going out to your, through your USB cable, at the minute is currently coming from, is currently taking input from only mic pre 1 and mic pre 2. And that's going straight into USB 1 and 2. That's then being sent out through your USB port to your mixer. So you'll find you can only plug currently, and you'll find this a lot with a lot of other digital mixers as well, that you can only hear things that are plugged into uh, mic preamps 1 and 2 on your mixer, but you can't, you can't hear anything else. And even though you've got all these routing options here, it only shows you, uh, it only lets you listen to whatever's plugged into the first two channels of your mixer. It doesn't mean your mix is broken, it's not a mistake. Um, what you want to do is, um, they've just def they've the way they've set these mixes up, and I've seen this with uh, a PreSonus, I think bearing to do something similar as well. Um, I don't know why they do it that way, but the basically the left and right coming in is, is mic preamp one and mic, they just set that as a default, and they only send those two channels out. The only two channels that are going out to your USB uh, through USB are actually USB 1 and 2, and that's left and right. So we created a mix on aux uh, 7 and 8, okay, it's to have left and right, and we linked aux 7 and 8 together. Uh, so what you do is, if you want to be able to hear all your channels that are in your mic pre's uh, to, through your USB cable, what you need to do is, if you've set yourself up on aux 7 and 8, you need to send the signal from aux 7 and 8 into USB 1 and USB 2. So that'll be your left and that'll be your right. Now, what this will mean is whatever is going to be coming out of your USB cable, which is 1 and 2, will be being sent from aux 7 and 8. Now, you don't have to use aux 7 and 8. You can use just a single aux uh, if you want it all in mono. I don't see any benefit to that because it won't pick up any of the panning and if you've got quite a big group like this then you, you definitely want something in stereo so it's a lot more cleaner and a lot more clearer <laughs> you can assign those to any you can do it to one and two three and four the only reason why I've used seven and eight is because nine and ten are what I use for my mains so I just thought okay anything I'm sending out that's in stereo will just be clumped at the back and then I can use my, my, my other channels for sending out uh, other signals, uh, like to monitor mixes, etc., which is what I've set up here. Okay, so because I've set AUX 7 and 8 up in that manner, um, what you then do is you then tell your, your routing to say, I want anything going into AUX 7 and 8, and I think I've picked 6 and 7 here instead of 7 and 8, so. No, 7 and 8, that's fine, yeah. So anything that is coming from 7 and 8 will go out through USB 1 and 2. That's left, that's right. And uh, that's how you send a full mix across to your uh, to your USB. Um, so what will happen is that will then plug into your streaming uh, software. And you just tell your streaming software, yeah, just receive the signal from my desk. And your desk already knows uh, what it's doing. It'll send uh, that left and right signal out. So just to correct that part of the video, um, because what I said earlier on would not be correct. All right, I will catch you guys on the flip side.